Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera. Uh, let's continue our lecture for chapter 5 uh, which is viscous uh, <coughs> flow uh, in pipe and uh, duct. Okay, so uh, yesterday we have covered up to major losses okay, in the pipe system and then today we will cover about the minor, minor losses. Okay, so uh, as been mentioned uh, before yesterday, um, losses the, for the total losses, total head loss, uh, it is consists of HL uh, major and HL minor minor losses. Okay, so HL major is calculated based on friction factor F, the ratio of length per diameter for the pipe, and then uh, v squared over 2g which is velocity velocity head okay and then uh, plus with the hl minor hl minor is the uh, loss coefficient uh, for uh, all the piping uh, for the uh, fitting for example uh, and then kl is the loss coefficient uh, multiplied by v squared over 2 over 2g okay so we can simplify this total losses, total head loss, okay? HL is total, total head, head loss, okay? So we can uh, simplify V squared over 2G equal to F friction factor L over D plus V uh, summation of K, KL, okay? So uh, in a complete system for piping uh, we need to consider for the both major and minor minor losses okay so this is how to calculate the major and minor losses so yesterday uh, we have learned how to find the friction factor based on moody chart okay and then today we will be learning on how to find the loss coefficient okay but um, normally loss coefficient is uh, given or summarized in table okay so we can just refer to the table to refer to the graph in order to get the loss coefficient okay so in, in other words loss coefficient uh, is not to be calculated okay so loss coefficient is given so we just use all the loss coefficient given okay in order to solve for the head head loss especially for the minor minor losses okay so as I mentioned before, minor losses is due to the um, pipe fitting, okay, pipe fitting, any fitting in order to connect uh, in uh, pipe one to another pipe, pipe two. So we use fitting. Uh, so we need to consider the, the losses, the minor losses. And then WAF, we have a lot of WAF, gate WAF, uh, ball WAF, uh, spring WAF. So all these WAF are contribute to the minor minor losses okay bands pipe band and then elbow uh, tees inlet at the inlet at the exit uh, expansion and also contraction in addition to the to the pipe so all this um, will contribute to the minor losses okay so what is minor losses basically uh, minor losses is happen due to the flow separation a okay? flow separation in the pipe and also mix mixing they induce in the a pipe okay mixing in that from uh, from high velocity and then suddenly it is uh, low velocity okay sudden deceleration so this is a mixing uh, from um, low velocity to high velocity ataupun high velocity to low velocity okay in the uh, sudden loss ataupun sudden uh, expansion okay so in order to find or to to calculate the kl Okay, so in the KL loss coefficient, uh, it can be calculated based on the pressure difference. So how to calculate? Uh, uh, by doing the experiment, uh, pipe without WAF and then pipe with WAF. Okay, so we can uh, calculate the delta PL, the delta pressure difference for the losses uh, with WAF and then without, without WAF. Okay, so from that delta PL, we can obtain the loss coefficient. Okay, so next slide. <coughs> so this is an example of determine the loss coefficient. Okay, so as I mentioned, um, we just in our 
uh, our, our objective is to to use to directly use the loss loss coefficient k okay, kl okay so for example this is a sudden uh, this is loss coefficient kl equal to 0 0.5 okay 0 0.5 for sharp edge inlet so where is the sharp edge inlet so this is the inlet so this is the sharp sharp edge and then this also sharp sharp edge okay so you can find this from um, a large tank okay so for example this is large reservoir and then a pipe connecting uh, the connecting pipe from a large reservoir to another reservoir okay so what happened at this sharp edge inlet there will be a uh, flow separation so this one is flow separation basically Okay, so this is flow separation. So this flow separation uh, will, of course, definitely will uh, induce the pressure, pressure drop. Okay, Pre this pressure drop will affect the flow, flow rate of the, for the water. Okay, so that's why we need to consider the, the losses. Okay, the losses. And then, uh, the, for the sharp edge, as I mentioned, KL is already given. KL equal to 0 0.5. So we just use KL equal to 0 0.0.5. Okay. And then how to, to solve for the sharp edge inlet? We can solve by uh, using well-rounded inlet. Okay. So now the inlet is well-rounded. No more sharp edge. Okay. No more sharp edge. So uh, we can reduce KL uh, from 0 0.5 now reduced to 0 0.003. Still have the losses, but it's very uh, minimal. Okay, so KL equal to 0 0.003. Okay, and then we can refer to a uh, table. So, for example, this one table for loss coefficient KL uh, for various pipe component for turbulent flow, eh? uh, where V is the average velocity in the pipe that contains the component okay so this is inlet and then this is exit so uh, this is for inlet all these three are for inlet and then all these three uh, for exit ataupun outlet okay so re-entrant so re kl for this type of uh, system kl equal to 0 0.8 for the sharp edge as i as mentioned before kl 0 0.5 if for well rounded okay well rounded kl equal to 0 0.03 ataupun slightly rounded r over d kl equal to 0 0.112 r over d is ratio eh, ratio between this uh, radius okay this radius with the diameter of the pipe is larger than 0 0.2 kl equal to 0 0.03 if uh, r over d equal to 0 0.1 kl equal to 0 0.112 okay and then at the exit, okay, at the exit, pipe exit, uh, re-entrant, KL equal to alpha. Alpha, what is alpha? Alpha is kinetic energy correction factor. Okay, so please uh, refresh your, uh, what we have learned in chapter 3 about the kinetic energy correction factor. Okay, that was included in the Bernoulli, Bernoulli equation. Okay, so alpha equal to 2 for fully developed laminar flow. And alpha equal to 0 0.15 for fully developed turbulent, turbulent flow. Okay, so just recall back the Bernoulli equation. Okay, Bernoulli equation P1 over rho G E plus V1 squared over 2G plus Z1 equal to P2 over rho G plus V2 squared over 2G plus Z, Z2. Okay, so this is standard Bernoulli equation. Okay, so Basically, we need to include alpha 1, alpha, okay, alpha which is for the correction, uh, kinetic energy correction factor, okay. So, where we use the alpha ataupun kinetic energy correction factor when we are dealing with this type of fitting, okay. Any fitting that contribute to the, to a very large velocity, a very large or very low velocity changes, uh, we need to consider or we need to, imp to include the the alpha okay otherwise if it is a constant diameter pipe a constant diameter pipe so alpha we just consider equal to equal to one okay otherwise uh, 
ataupun uh, it is mentioned alpha equal to 1.05 so we need to use alpha equal to 1.005 okay so this is sudden expansion and also sudden contraction sudden expansion mean that it is from a low diameter of uh, low diameter of pipe to a large diameter of pipe so this is expansion expand suddenly expand so for the expansion of you can see here for the sudden expansion there will be uh, separation here no flow inside this red region or red colored region here so that's why we need to consider the minor losses the loss coefficient and then for the loss coefficient uh, the same goes for sudden contraction eh? Con sudden contraction from large to low low diameter of pipe okay so we can either use this kl for sudden contraction this is only for sudden contraction c chart here and then for gradual expansion we can refer to this table okay we can refer to this table in order to find the kl d over d is the diameter for small pipe this capital d is the diameter for a large large pipe okay 0 0.2 for d over d equal to 0 0.2 kl equal to 0 0.3 for example and then for theta theta is total total how to say that total <coughs> Total angle, eh? the total angle from here. This is theta and theta. Okay, so this is theta. So total, total angle. So uh, theta equal to 20, 20 degree. Okay, so next for band, this is for uh, band and branches. Uh, same here, you have uh, KL. Okay, KL for flange and threaded. Okay, so flange, flange mean that yeah, they have a flange type of uh, connection, and then threaded mean that uh, uh, the pipe pipe is itself has the uh, threaded connection. Okay, so uh, KL 0.3, KL 0.9, okay, KL 1.1 for 90 degree for the written band, 180 degree written band, KL 0.2, 1.1. 1.5 same goes for valve huh? so here is for for valve for globe valve fully open kl equal to 10 and then angle valve fully open kl equal to 5 ball valve kl equal to 0, 0 0.5 and then swing check valve kl equal to equal to 2 okay so for gate valve gate valve yang yang you uh, we can see the gate valve okay um come on the get wharf uh, can uh, basically at your house okay before the before your before the uh, uh, meter okay the flow rate meter so basically it is considered as gate gate wharf okay so you can fully open or you can control to uh, one over four close half close or three over four close okay so this will contribute to the different loss loss coefficient okay so this is about the k kl okay so this is for uh, sudden contraction uh, from large pipe to uh, low diameter of of pipe okay so we can use this uh, chart okay, this chart in order to find the loss coefficient how to find the chart let's say how to find the loss coefficient by using the chart let's say r over d equal to 0 0.1 so just plot 0 0.1 and then from the intersection plot to the left and then you will get 0 0.1 uh, 0 0.13 or 0 0.14 for the loss loss coefficient okay so this is for gate uh, or global uh, globe wave huh? globe wave okay so as you can see globe wave v2 is equal to v1 in the pipe okay but in the v construction uh, larger than v v1 okay because there are low diameter or low uh, uh, diameter or low diameter of this uh, construct construction okay so the large head loss in a partially closed valve is due to irreversible deceleration uh, flow separation and mixing of high velocity fluid coming from the narrow valve passage okay so not b had lost through a fully open ball wall okay so this is ball ball wall 
standard ball ball one okay so uh, as i mentioned before uh, the minor losses in order to find a, a kl or the loss coefficient we can just refer to table or refer to any chart that was given okay so normally we we don't have to calculate to calculate uh, the loss coefficient okay so we can just strictly use uh, uh, so we use the given table or given given chart okay so this is example in order to calculate the um, head loss and minor head loss for and pressure rise during a gradual expansion okay expansion mean that from six centimeter to nine nine centimeter so it is gradual expansion expand from low diameter of pipe to a large diameter of of pipe okay so uh, let's read the solution uh, the, uh, the uh, question a six centimeter diameter horizontal water pipe expand gradually to a nine centimeter so mean that here given a small d equal to six centimeter and large d equal to capital d equal to nine centimeter okay uh, uh, angle at 10 degree from from axis okay so in that this is 10 degree and then this is also 10 10 degree okay um, the average velocity and pressure of water before the expansion section are 7 meter per second so v1 is 7 meter per second and then p1 150 kilo pascal okay so this is the parameter at section one find determine the head loss in the expansion so in the expansion head loss is minor minor head loss which is uh, kl p squared over to 2g okay uh, and the pressure in the larger diameter p p2 okay so this is the uh, question need to be to be solved okay so solution uh, first we must come up with the assumption this is steady incompressible and fully developed so these three are very important for our analysis okay and uh, turbulent with alpha uh, this this is given alpha equal to 1.006 so we need to consider the the alpha okay so for the sudden expansion uh, in order to find the uh, KL, we can use um, this table. Okay, sudden expansion. Okay, so this is table for sudden expansion. Okay, uh, you can you see you can see that gradual expansion for theta equal to twenty degree. So d over d, zero point two, zero point four, zero point six, and zero point eight. Okay, so in our case, d over d is d over d equal to six centimeter divided by nine centimeter. So equal to zero point six seven. Okay, so the ratio is 0 0.667. So in that it is in between 0 0.6 and 0 0.8 here. KL is between 0 0.6 and 0 0.8. So to find 0 0.667, just do the interpolation. Okay, so by doing the interpolation, you can obtain the loss coefficient uh, is equal to 0 
0.133. Okay, so KL equal to 0.133 for this case of sudden sudden expansion. Okay, so that we can uh, determine the K, KL. Sorry, we can determine the HL minor. Okay, so how to find the minor losses? HL equal to KL V1 squared over 2. 2g so we need to find the velocity so how to find the velocity uh one uh, velocity one is given seven meter per second okay seven meter per second so we uh, kl is 0 0.133 2.982 multiplied by 9.81 so we will get the minor losses for this case of sudden expansion uh pipe fitting uh, it is equal to 0 0.333 three me meter okay and then for in order to find the pressure okay, to find the pressure applying the Bernoulli Bernoulli equation okay p1 over rho g alpha 1 v1 squared over 2g plus z1 plus um, fish palm we have we don't have palm okay p2 rho g plus alpha 2 v squared over 2g z2 also can be cancelled out it is same elevation and then no turbine so this is also can be cancel cancel out okay so to find the p2 here p2 equal to uh, rho g p1 over rho g plus alpha one, alpha v1 squared over v2 squared over 2g minus h hl okay so we can obtain p p2 okay so after substituting all the value then we obtain the p2 equal to 168 kilo kilo pascal okay so it is uh, uh, quite uh, surprise eh? when the pressure at point two is larger than pressure at point one because in standard piping system normal diameter or constant diameter for point one point two uh, p1 p2 so p2 must be uh, p1 must be higher than point uh, pressure one pressure at one must be higher than pressure at, at two so that there will be a flow from point one to point point two but in our case due to the sudden expansion okay due to the sudden expansion uh, some changes of uh, uh, velocity uh, velocity head ataupun uh, dynamic pressure has been uh, replaced atau has been uh, changed to the uh, static pressure so there will be the summation uh, the added of uh, more pressure at point two due to the expansion okay so therefore despite the head pressure loss the pressure increase from 150 at point one to 168 kilopascal at point point two here after the expansion this is due to the conversion of dynamic pressure conversion of dynamic pressure to static pressure when the average will flow velocity is decreased in the larger larger pipe okay so some discussion it is common knowledge that the higher pressure upstream is necessary to cause flow and it may come as a surprise to you that the downstream pressure has increased after the expansion despite the the losses so this is because the flow is driven by the sum of three head that comprise the total head namely pressure uh, velocity and elevation so total head from the Bernoulli equation uh, during flow expansion higher velocity head upstream is converted to pressure head downstream and this increase with the non recoverable head head loss okay so also you may be tempted to solve this problem using the Bernoulli equation such a solution would ignore the head loss and the associated pressure pressure loss and result in an accurate higher pressure for the fluid downstream okay so that is only for minor losses okay summary 
we have learned about turbulent velocity profile and then the moody chart and the corporate equation minor minor losses okay so that's all uh, for the tutorial you, you can solve for uh, past year question uh, december 20, 2019 question number four okay december Okay, so that's all. Thank you. Okay, so uh, now we are trying to solve for this question. So I guess both uh, major losses and minor losses uh, need to be determined in order to solve for this uh, uh, question. So given <coughs> uh, given oil oil with rho nine two zero kilogram per meter cube. So rho is nine two zero kilogram per meter per meter cube. Okay, and then uh, mu mu uh, dynamic viscosity at upon absolute viscosity is given for this uh, oil mu equal to 0 0.045 kilogram meter second is to be pumped from an underground reservoir to a tank through a 25 meter long okay so 25 what is 25 meter long it was a, hey. it is a total total length okay total length for the pipe is 25 meter and then five centimeter diameter, uh, five centimeter diameter, ni apa? It is a diameter lah, diameter for the for the pipe, which is uh, five centimeter sama dengan uh, fifty millimeter, juga sama dengan zero point zero five meter. So why we need fifty millimeter? Why we need millimeter? Hmm, body check. Okay, so to find the relative roughness in Moody, Moody chart. Okay, so the entrance to the hose, um, uh, the entrance to the hose is hose is slightly rounded, which is KL equal to zero point one two. So this is not, this is the losses, eh? minor, minor losses. Hose so, number one, dia cakap apa? The entrance, at the entrance hose. Uh, KL equal to 0 0.112. The oil exit the hose at the top of the tank as a free jet. Okay, so this is a very important point, which is a free jet. A uh, four unit of 90 degrees more band, which has KL 0.3. Ni maksudnya apa? Number two, minor losses, we have uh, four unit of uh, apa ni band eh? Smooth band. So KL equal to uh, 0.3. Ada lagi? I use between the reservoir and the tank. Okay. The elevation difference between the oil in the reservoir and the exit of the horse is 5 meter. Okay, so this is the elevation difference. So what is elevation difference? Z2. Z2 uh, minus Z1 adalah 5. Uh, okay, 5 meter. Okay, so the volume of oil to be transferred is 22 meter cube. Okay, volume dibagi 2. 22 meter cube must be executed in 20 minute. Okay, masa must be 20, 20 min. Okay, so for this V and T, what can be obtained from here? Apa sebenarnya ni? V dengan T, what is V and T? Volume, volume flow rate. Because volume flow rate equal to 22 meter cube per 
20 so berapa ni 22 bagi 20 kena tukar second je saya ha, 20 saya Ha, ada yang tu. Dua dua bagi dua puluh. Berapa? Satu point satu. One point one meter cube per minit. Satu minit enam puluh second. So satu point satu bagi enam puluh. Berapa dapat? 0.01833 0 0.0183 uh, meter cube per per second ok boleh? boleh ok boleh. so fine ni dia punya ni fine estimate and overall ok dia bagi lagi pump efficiency is efficiency for the pump is 822 ok Determine the required power input to the pump. Okay, dia nak uh, W dot for uh, power input eh, power input to run the pump. Maknanya power input tu must be daripada uh, electrical lah, daripada electric. Okay, so how to find the W dot electric? Uh, efficiency, okay, so from the efficiency, uh, efficiency is equal to ni kita buat dalam ni assumption. Uh, first kita buat assumption dulu. What is the first assumption? Flow is steady incompressible. Apa lagi? Number two uh, fully Fully develop flow. Fully develop flow. Develop flow. Okay. And then number three. Uh, uh, lift as free jet. Eh? The other mention free. Free jet. So maknanya V2 tak sama dengan kosong. Okay. Free jet. V2 is not zero. Okay. But P2 pressure at 2 equal to pressure uh, exposed to the atmosphere di keluar ke atmosphere P2 can be uh, uh, zero, okay? Sebab dia keluar ke atmos atmospheric pressure lift as free jet. Apa lagi? Okay, so number four, uh, since it is uh, it lift as free jet, V2 equal to zero. Okay, so we need to consider the alpha. Alpha must be considered in this case. Okay, alpha equal to, kita ambil standard alpha equal to 1.005. Okay, alpha ataupun kinetic energy correction factor, kita ambil standard kinetic energy correction factor which is equal to 1.005. Okay, so this is the uh, assumption. That is uh, compulsory for Uh, for this, uh, for the fluid dynamic analysis. Okay. Lepas assumption, kita start dengan analysis dulu sikit sebab kita nak tahu macam mana nak dapat uh, efficiency for the electric. Okay. So, equation untuk efficiency basically equal to the required, the output, okay, W dot uh, output bahagi dengan uh, bahagi dengan W dot input. Okay. For our case, for the pump, okay, pump, the uh, the delivered power uh, from the pump is considered W dot output. Okay. So we can consider W dot pump. Okay. And then W dot input, the input, uh, the input power in order to uh, produce ataupun to, to to produce power to the to the pump. Okay, so nak macam mana nak hidupkan pump, pump kena ada apa? Kena ada electric electric kan? So must be W dot from the electric. Okay, so that so uh, once kita dah dapat W dot pump, we can get the W dot electric. 
So how to get the w.farm? Kita kena start dengan apa? Benali equation. Okay, so P1 over rho g plus V1 squared over 2g plus Z1 plus H palm equal to P2 over rho g plus V2 squared over 2g plus Z2 plus H HL. Okay, so this is the manually equation and then don't forget to put the alpha, alpha ataupun uh, kinetic energy correction uh, factor. Okay, so in order to solve for the ataupun in order to some, uh, to uh, analyze the Bernoulli equation, kita kena ada gambaran lah. We need to sketch Okay, we need to sketch uh, the condition for our uh, our case. Okay, so schematic diagram. The pump dah berapa underground lah, betul? Betul. Betul. So underground. So maknanya this is underground and then the other water uh, apa? oil tank ni standard uh, apa uh, standard petrol pump dekat Malaysia lah dia ada uh, oil tank kat bawah the oil tank and then this is considered as point one And then dia ada pump. This is point two, eh? Free jet. The leaf as free jet. Okay, masuk, barulah masuk. Time. Okay, so this is point one and then point, point two. Z2 minus Z1 berapa? Dia bagi tak ni? Baca balik. 5. 5 eh? 5 meter. 5. 5 meter. Ada bagi, bagi. Hmm, okay. Okay, so now we uh, this is point one uh, underground. Okay, so uh, we can now uh, simplify the Bernoulli, Bernoulli equation. P1, so we can, how to get the P1? Pressure at point 1. Any idea? So we assume that the uh, tank is large enough. Okay, so tank is, is very large. So the pressure is uh, ataupun pressure can be assumed it is atmospheric 
uh, equal to atmospheric pressure. Okay, so P1 equal to uh, zero, ataupun P1 equal, uh, is ignore pressure at one. And then uh, V1, okay, so V1, point one ni bukan dekat, dekat dalam pipe ni, eh. P1, point one dekat, dekat water level, apa, oil level ni. This is point one. Berapa? Point one, uh, V1, so large tank, V1 also can be considered a very small, so V1 also zero, okay. So for point two, at point two, it, it is uh, exposed ataupun uh, released to the atmosphere. Pressure two is also equal to zero. Okay, sebab pressure two, uh, gauge pressure and pressure two, uh, absolute pressure tolak atmospheric, uh, tolak atmospheric pressure. Okay, so uh, atmospheric pressure tolak atmospheric pressure, you akan dapat zero. So that's why P2 also zero. And then V2 cannot be zero sebab apa? Sebab dia ada, dia ada velocity kat sini eh. Dia bukan dekat water level ni. Dia bukan dekat water level in, at this tank. So, uh, water uh, uh, velocity for the free jet. Okay, release from the, from the pipe. And then Z2, H, HL. HL, we must consider HL for the major losses and also minor, minor losses. Okay. So any question? Belum sir. Okay, so kita boleh, kita nak cari HP ya, eh? we can rearrange the equation. HP equal to alpha V2 squared over 2G plus Z2 minus Z1 plus H, HL. Okay, so now we can determine uh, V, how to find velocity, try to find velocity. Velocity in the pipe, how to find the velocity? Um, volume flow rate, so yeah. AV is it? Yes, from volume, flow rate, find the velocity. Berapa velocity? V dot equal to A V. Okay, so uh, V equal to V dot multiply divided by uh, divided by A. Okay, V dot berapa V dot tadi? 0 0.0183 0.0183 0.0183 meter cube per second area pi diameter so what is v nine point three two sorry Uh, 9.32 9.32 meter per second Semua dapat? Dapat okay, Sama ya, eh? 9.32 meter per per second So there is the velocity Okay, so V1 equal to uh, Sorry, uh, V uh, in the pipe Equal to velocity uh, Because mass and uh, uh, Apa ni uh, Mass flow rate is always constant in the system. Okay, so V2 equal to 9.32 meter per, per second. Okay, and then uh, 
we need to find the HL. So now uh, V2, we have V2, Z2 minus Z1, we already have Z2 minus Z1 equal to 5 meter HL. Now we need to find this HL. Okay, so HL equal to our HL L V square over 2 G. HL major tambah HL minor. Betul? Dia mesti so, ada major losses kan? Sebab dalam pipe eh. So HL major plus HL minor. So HL major equal to F L over D V squared over 2G summation of KL V squared over 2 2G. Okay. So ataupun kita boleh uh, simplify V squared over 2G F L over D tambah dengan sigma K K L. Okay. So unknown in this equation, what is the unknown? L is given, I guess, L is given the total line diameters, we have the diameter. Sigma K L can be determined because uh, it is already mentioned how much uh, it is already mentioned about the uh, losses for the entrance and then uh, losses for the what it? for smooth band. Okay, so this is the minor uh, minor losses. So now the unknown is how to find the how to find the apa? what is unknown here? F factor. Okay, so now our problem statement atau our problem is to to get the prob, uh, the friction factor. Okay, so now find the friction factor F. Okay, so to find F, what do we need to find F? Renal number. Renal number. Renal number. Okay, so Renal number. Rho VD over mu. Okay, help me to calculate Renal number, please. Nine five two seven point one one. Well. Sorry. Okay. One. Sorry, one zero. What? Nine five two seven point one. Nine five two seven. Nine five two seven point. Point one one. One one. Okay. So mana nya? Berapa ni? Uh, sama dengan sembilan point lima kali sepuluh kuasa tiga. Semua apa eh? Ru apa ni? Apa? Semua sama eh? Saya tak kira ni. Rho V V berapa tadi? 9 point? 9 point 3 2 2 eh? 3 2 3 2 Diameter point 05 Bahagi Sembilan puluh lima eh, kali sepuluh kursi tiga. So lamina kata belum flow? Turbulent. Turbulent eh. So turbulent flow. Kita boleh guna. Kena guna uh, apa? Apa nama dia? Uh, Mudi cat. Boleh? So nak cari, nak guna mudi cat, kita kena tahu relative roughness. What is relative roughness? Kita saya copy di apa nama ni? Mudi cat dulu eh. Okay. 
Ada nak masuk tadi? Ada lah. Okay, so this is uh, Moody's chart. So now, hmm, relative roughness, what is the material? Material for this pipe, apa? Yang soalan? Rubber. Rubber smooth pipe. Rubber, tak silap. Okay. Yeah, smooth rubber hose. Kita ada kat sini, ada kan? So rubber smooth, tipenya ni berapa? Roughness? Kosong per kosong, satu. Millimeter. Diameter berapa? Kosong poin kosong empat lima. Eh, milimeter. Kosong poin kosong. Eh, silap silap. Milimeter. Berapa? Kosong poin kosong satu bagi lima puluh. Berapa tu? Kosong poin kosong 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 dua. Kosong poin kosong 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 dua. Nih. Betul. Apa tak? Betul. Okay. Okay. So now we have the Reynolds number and then we have the relative roughness. Okay. So now plot the Reynolds number nine point five ten power of three. So this is 10 power of 3. So this is 3 power of 3. Exponent 10 power of 3. 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9. Okay, so this is 9. Okay. Hang eh. Nampak tak? Okay, dah tak, 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 tak keluar saya punya ni. Screen. Tak. Tak ada dah. Nampak lagi skrin saya? Nampak saya. Okay, 8. So, this is 9. So, this is 9. 9 kali 10 kursi titik. Tapi kita 9.5. Ambil kat tengah tu eh. Saya kecilkan sikit pen saya ni. So, 9.5. Antara 9 to 10 tu. 9 to 10 power of 4. Ambil dekat tengah. Oh. Kenapa dia jadi macam tu? So draw straight line. Okay, so 9.5 So this is 9.5 kali 10 kuasa 3 Okay, so mana kita punya ni? Relative roughness Mana kita punya relative roughness? So, screen yeah. hilang Oh, hilang lagi Sekejap yeah. Okay, 
Boleh nampak tak? Nampak tak? Okay. So kita dapat 9.5. So 0.0002 kat mana? Ni kan? So this is 0.0002. Okay. So just plot. Just follow this curve until we find the intersection. Oh, saya pening eh. Tak, tak ni. Uh, okay, sekejap. Kosong poin kosong. Tengok skrin lama sangat. Kosong poin kosong kosong dua. Okay, ni eh lebih kurang. You tengok, kalau tengok kali print, nam, boleh nampak tu. Tiko. Okay, so tu eh. Setuju? This is the intersection. Setuju. 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 Kosong pai kosong. This is 0 pai 0 3. 3 2 3 315. Boleh? 315. Boleh. Setuju eh? F0.031. Setuju. 0.0315. Okay. So, any question so far untuk F to determine friction factor? No? No. Okay. So, um, F we have 0.0315. Now, sigma KL. This one. Sigma K. KL, the, the, the summation ataupun uh, the total for the minor, minor losses. Okay. So, uh, for sigma KL, find the total minor losses. Okay. So, sigma K, KL. Dia ada apa? Dia bagi satu entrance, this one, <coughs> one entrance, KL 0.12 and then four, four unit of smooth band which is KL 0 0.0.3, 0 0.1 and 0 0.3, oh, sorry, 0 0.12, 0 <coughs> KL sama dengan 0 0.12 tambah dengan 4 kali 0. apa ni? Untuk band 0 0.3 je. So dapat apa? 0 0.3. 0 0.12 tambah 0 0.12. 0 0.2. Betul? Faham? Any question? So, 4 times 0 0.3 tu 1.2 Oh okay Sorry. 0, point, oh, 0 0.3 ya, eh? bukan 0 0.03 So total 1.24 Total sama dengan 1 point 1.32 1 1.32 1.32 1.32 Okay, so now we can get the head for the palm This equation The total head loss Okay, the total head loss HL total ni This equation So HL equal to uh, v squared v what is v uh, 
to G F 0 0.0315 L total length Bapak ini total length? 25 meter 25 meter Diameter? 0.05 5 KL 1.32 Okay, so HL equal to Seventy five point five seven three. Seventy five point five seven three. Seventy five point five seven three. Okay. Semua dapat jawapan sama. Dapat. Dapat. Okay. So HL we got HL equal to seventy five. And then uh, where is the Allah Take a Okay, so kita dapat HL. Sekarang ni kita, we need to find HP. HP question tu macam mana tadi? Alpha so, Okay, so cari HP ni Alpha equal to 1.05 Ambil alpha equal to 1.05 for the exit Okay, so correction kinetic factor for the for the exit So uh, sebelum ni saya cakap alpha ni biasanya kita ambil satu kalau dalam pipe ni okay, kita, measure, uh, kita measure point 1 to point 2 and then velocity at point 1, velocity at point 2 equal to 0 okay, dalam pipe ni, pipe normal pipe so kita just assume uh, alpha equal to 0.115 okay. but now alpha ini we need to consider some correction factor because uh, at point 2 it is it was at the exit ni It was at the exit of the uh, pipe. Okay, so we need to consider the correction factor 0.1. Uh, sorry, 1.005 standard. Eh? So 1.05. Pain 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 2.05. 
Berapa? Satu empat kosong tujuh lima poin kosong tiga. Satu empat kosong tujuh lima poin kosong tiga. Wah. Ataupun sama dengan apa ni? Empat belas poin kosong. Kosong lapan kilowatt. Okay, so there is W. Eh, dia, dia bukan nak W pump kan? Eh? Dia nak apa tadi? Silap silap. Uh, mana 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 mana? Oh, susah betul. Dia nak power. Okay, ni W dot electric kan? Eh? Yang berapa uh, W dot power input power? Eh? Input power for the pump. So input power for the pump must be from the uh, electricity. So electric kita kena cari W dot electric. Macam mana cari W dot electric? Sama dengan W dot pump bagi dengan efficiency. Efficiency berapa? 82. So yang you dapat ni berapa? 0.1.4 eh? 14 berapa? Kilowatt dah ni? 14.09 eh? kilowatt bagi dengan efficiency 0.82 dapatlah final answer berapa 17.16 kilowatt eh kilowatt okey so uh, with the efficiency of the pump equal to 82% we required 17.16 kilowatt okay 17.16 kilowatt from the uh, electrical ataupun electricity boleh any question dah, dah lebih 4 minit sorry ada kelas eh tak ada <laughs>